Hi guys and welcome to another technical tutorial on Esprino, which is JavaScript, running on the ESP8266. In this edition, we're going to talk about what it takes to connect your ESP8266 to a Wi-Fi access point. So let's move on. So the notion here the notion here is that in your environment you have an access point and the access point is of course your Wi-Fi gateway which is listening for Wi-Fi devices to connect to it. Now in Wi-Fi speak a Wi-Fi device is called a station so your ESP8266 wishes to be a station to your access point over the Wi-Fi network. Uh, the access point, of course, then uh, routes the requests coming from the ESP8266 onto the internet, and we now have internet connectivity from the ESP8266. Now, in order to connect to an access point, we need to know the SSID, or the network ID, of the access point, and usually a password to allow our station to connect to that access point. So now let's move on and look at what it looks like from a JavaScript programming perspective. The uh, story here is that we require a JavaScript module called Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is the generic interface to uh, Wi-Fi related activities and the ESP8266 implements that module. So when we issue the uh, command require Wi-Fi we get back a module which we store in a variable. Now the Wi-Fi module has a number of methods or functions or functions is the correct word functions on it and one of those functions is called connect and connect takes a slew of parameters. The first parameter is the SSID which is the network ID that you wish to connect with. The second parameter is an optional password which is the password that the access point is expecting for stations to present in order for them to be authenticated to connect to the uh, access point. The third parameter which in this screen is shown as null are options that we wish to supply to effect the operation of the connect. Now as of uh, the time of recording this there are no options that we have defined but there very well may be in the future but uh, specifying a default of null that will allow us to connect with the default options. And finally there is a callback function pointer and this is a function that will be invoked once the connection to the access point has succeeded. So since uh, connection to an access point may take a few seconds, we can't just merrily go on after executing Wi-Fi Connect and attempt to use it. Instead, we register a callback function that will be invoked when the connection to the access point has completed. Now that's very important. Inside the body of that function is where we can then start using the Wi-Fi connection. For example, making socket connections or HTTP connections. We mustn't attempt to do that before we are actively connected to the access point. So in this sample, when we connect to the access point, we print that we are now connected and then do things. Now the parameters to the callback function are, first of all, an error fun uh, uh, I'm sorry, an error uh, 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 parameter and the error parameter can be checked to see if there was an error that has been encountered. The IP parameter is your current IP structure. Now that IP structure contains within it your IP address and your gateway address and your network address, uh, sorry, your uh, IP address, netmask address, and your gateway address. So these are the addresses that we are have been supplied by connecting to the access point. All right, with that theory, let's go have a look at it in practice. So if we bring up our environment, here is our web IDE for Espruino, and here is a simple application.
And what this application says is that we're going to get the Wi-Fi module. We're going to invoke its connect method, which when connected, we can then ask or, or display rather the IP address that we were allocated. So if I hit the run button, uh, it loads that application into Espruino. The application is now running and when the connection callback is is happens when we're connected we get the message back that we're connected and we see our own address now if i bring up a dos command prompt and ping that address 192.168.1.4 we are now communicating or pinging the ESP8266 device itself and that has demonstrated that we are now connected to the access point. All right, a relatively short tutorial just to give you a taste of what is involved in using the uh, JavaScript API to connect to your access point. I hope you found this useful and there'll be many more of these technical tutorials coming in the future. Bye for now.